We had another Blaze incident. So I guess before I go to the Nether again, I'm going to want to move my portal to somewhere a little bit more fireproof. In the wake of uh, last episode's villager incident, I have updated our world to hard mode and I would like to get some librarians up and running. Are there four of you in there? How? First one, second one. All right. Um, not that bad, you guys. Oh, be so careful, my gosh. And do we go there? And in they both go. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Yeah, that was probably the least painful villager experience so far, anyways. Three librarians. Let's see what they have to offer us. Punch two. Looting two. Fortune two. Okay. Now, I don't need Silk Touch at this point. I've got plenty of those books. Oh, no! Right click. Right click. Oh, my gosh. Oh, crap. That iron golem is not going to like me very much. We're going to make one heck of a run for it. So that Mr. Iron Golem doesn't get angry at me. And we'll leave them to their own devices for a little bit. Because we need to make them cheaper. So, what we need to do is we need to do just a little, little zombie curing area. Huh. All right. Now that they are situated, let's go collect ourselves a zombie. You know, let's see if we can't even do this while it's raining. Grab that, we grab that, and let's go, let's do this. Still after me. Excellent, excellent. I really don't want to have to, you know, store this guy in my house, so fingers crossed the weather holds. Hey, buddy. Nope, nope, nope. Don't get lost. Come on. Come on, with me, with me. Right here. Right here. There you go. Ah! Nope, not that way, not that way. This way, come on. Come on. Nope, 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 come on. There you go. Come on. Back through here. Through the gate. Why is he not going through the gate? What the actual heck? Oh, can you not fit there? All right, there we go. Okay, okay, let me get out of here. Please, and... Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. I panicked. <sighs> okay. Well, the good news is it's not the gate that's the issue. I should wear some armor for this. I have armor now. All right, I'm shaking, but I think this situation works. Mostly. I need to be able to shut that behind him. Alright. This should be plenty dark enough. So we'll go there first. That one. And then those ones. And yeah. Here he comes. And then we just close that. And we'll place that there. And we flip that up. He's not going anywhere. Nice. And choop, 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 choop. The next thing we need to do in Project Get Villagers Back is we need to start brewing. 
For now, we'll just put it right here. And we need some blaze powder. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's see. Glass bottles. Do I have many? Not many, but a few. Yay, fishing. Let's see, we've got some nether wart here, but I don't think we actually need nether wart. I think we just need spider eyes and, you know, the whole, like, fermented spider eyes situation. And then we need golden apples. <gasps> Apple pie? What's that advancement? Obtain 16 apples. Okay. <gasps> and we got the local brewery achievement. This isn't going to drop anything, is it? Uh, hello, good sir. Would you be interested in the ride of your life? There we go. And then if we open that door, we should be able to... Is he going to hit? A block that he shouldn't hit because that would be unfortunate all right so then why is the zombie not jumping up on the he should be able to jump up on those if I set it up correctly yeah he should totally be able to jump up on those he was jumped up on those a little while ago he's just lazy he's just lazy Anyways, what if we brought one of these gentlemen out here? Just one. Okay, zoop. And, uh, zoop. There we go. Sheesh. Okay. Nope. Oh, he ran away from the... The zombie... Like, understandable, my dude. I also run away from zombies. What if we gave you a steppy stool? Would that make things easier? Nice. And now he can reach everybody that he needs to reach, including me. Oops. There we go. Now he can't reach me. Whew. Glad that didn't get worse. All right. Now, let's stick this fine gentleman in his own minecart. There we go. And he just... Oh. Let's open that back up. He just bushes right in through. There he goes. There he goes. All right. All right. If we go right there they should both be particly and we go bamba and bamba and then we need to figure out how to separate them from the zombie the easiest way might actually just be some trap doors actually just thinking about if we go like that Joop. Oh, yeah. Boop. Choop. And boop. Boop. Choop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We figured it out eventually. It took us a little bit, but we did figure it out. Excellent. So that we can trade up the first couple really fast and have access to glass for making more bottles and other good things like that. Let's go ahead and... Ugh, I am nervous about spending this much on on golden apples but if we have just a few really good villagers we should be able to make it you know all right mr iron golem you are just a liability right now so oh my gosh Okay, fine. Never mind then. Sheesh. Okay, we flip that one up. And we flip that one up. Maybe watch from the upstairs window. We cannot see from the upstairs window. 
And then we just F three B. Go to nice. Oh my gosh. Really? Really? My goodness. No, no, no. I don't know what to do with this little guy. Go after the other one. There. You're not moving. Not yet. Sheesh, this just only gets more complicated. Nice. And you're one emerald for mending. We're going to... It's mending, though. Should we do mending? You are a menace to society. That's what you are. Let's see. If I put a bed in here, will he run for it? Go on. There he goes. All right. With small menace number 317 out of the way, let's see if we can take care of these guys here. Efficiency four, we're taking it. Wait, no! We need efficiency five. Oh, well, dang it. You better have some good next level stuff, buddy. Anyways, we definitely need to be thinking about this area. Now, I planned for this to be the magic floor, but I think it's gonna be more of a library floor, floor, which means we can have a whole separate potions floor. And I, for one, think that decorating a little potions room is gonna be super great, so. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tear this down. Oh, it's gonna take a bit. So we're not going back through this portal again until we have a fireproof adventure room. I'm not sure where to put that. Grab a little bit of scaffolding. Nice. We grab our moss. We grab our honeycomb. Ooh, we should go see if we have any more melons. When's the last time I dipped into a bed? I do not know. I should probably do that. All right, we are officially out of calcite. Uh, so, we'll put things away for just the moment. We will do a little bit of one blocking and then we'll make a spot for some cleric villagers. Hey, there's a trader. Alrighty, let's see, that kind of sounded like, yep, out that way. Hello, sir, what goods do you have for me? Not calcite. Oh, a sniffer egg. I. Mm, oh. Ooh. That. That's what I need. A small drip leaf, yes. Alright, that was in exchange for some iron. Which we now have in pretty plentiful supply. So. Hello, sir. How much of this will you give me? Is 10 enough? 15's enough. 15's enough. That sniffer egg is tempting, but we do not have a sustainable source of gold yet. Stonemasons should be able to sell calcite. That should be a thing. Hi, friends. Hello. What do you have? Oh, efficiency 5? He has efficiency 5, guys. Alright. Well, unfortunately for me, I've already locked in an efficiency 4 trade. So... We get to keep doing this whole rolling shenaniganery. Mending. There it is, Unbreaking Three. We're taking it. All right. And a book trade, excellent. And now, we also have unlimited books, or emeralds, which is nice. And it gets a little grindy doing this sometimes. But you know what? We will take it. Nice. That's all he's gonna give us for that. Okay, we got flame. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool. And glass. And name tags, nice, okay. And we have a whole lot of Unbreaking 3, which means we need to finish off our library. 
You know what would make our one blocking just fly by? If we took some of these books of ours and applied them to our tools. Let's see. We already have efficiency four on the axe. We have efficiency three on the pickaxe. So I think if we grab three books, that should be good. We put efficiency four on that one. We don't have unbreaking three on that. Let's grab unbreaking three too. This is definitely ripping through these faster. Oh my goodness. And there's another fella. Ooh, do I have, I have room for almost all of those. Hello, sir. What have you got? Not calcite. Not really anything else I need either. Though so you take four diamonds for the sniffer egg. Okay, okay, fine. I hear you, I hear you. We're getting the sniffer egg. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's get two just so that we can have a breeding pair. It's just really funny to me that a couple of you are like, why didn't you get the sniffer egg? <gasps> Smells interesting. Now I can get cute little flowers. We'll need a sniffer pen then. Okay. So we'll stick that in there for the moment. And while it's dark, we'll continue doing some one blocking just to see if we can get ourselves some calcite. Can we get another trader before the sun rises? That is the question. There we go, we got another trader before the sun rose, yes. Hi, what have you got? You've got some gold, which is nice. More drip leaf. And a cat, I've got a cat, thank you. I think for our cleric house, we're gonna do some mud brick to purple kind of palette. So we'll use some amethyst. Ooh, this would actually be a great spot for some copper too. We want a small build that kind of does some of these reddish things. Um, This from the bottom, this from the top, I think is where we're going with this. Um, But also moves into this purpley kind of space. And we can use those there or we remove the bricks from the equation and go with like amethyst purpley staining. Do we have any other purpley kind of blocks? We could always make a little bit of concrete maybe if we needed. Oh, well, uh, cherry wood. Yeah. So if we get some purpley staining that then kind of turns into this reddish color towards the top of it. Um, we could do a copper roof. And then we can go for our like standard dark oak highlights. All right, let's gather our materials here. These are what we're starting with anyways. The roof will need a little bit, a little bit of time. He's coming along, not even close. Okay. One, two, boop, boop. One, two, boop, boop. One, two, boop, boop. One, two, boop, boop. Okay. Yeah, that seems like a more reasonable living space for two, two beings. Okay. So then, where do we want the door? I think let's do a diagonal double door. So what this is gonna kind of end up looking like, I think, is it's gonna end up looking like, you know, they built a wooden structure kind of situation. I say they, I. There's no external lore to this world than me and my own Ness. So they built this structure that's like fairly monochromatic and then, you know, even the copper, like we'll use the uh, third and fourth most copperized situations. And then that's just gonna look like um, we kind of started getting some rust kind of stuff. And that's been like 
pouring down the sides a little bit, but it's a magical purple rust because of, you know, our clerics. Oh no. <gasps> There's another kitty. A pretty kitty. I just realized the issue here. <laughs> it doesn't work so well when we've got two corners, not one. Whew, we're gonna need to safeify that a little bit more, I think. I think, actually, even if we just change where the walkway is, that might help the situation. Oh, that walkway feels so much safer than any other walkway we've built. I like that we have a cute little, like, contrasting color fence. I think we could use some cuteness to spruce it up. That is actually adorable. All right, yeah, these are definitely the vibes we're going for. I love how this villager island has taken kind of its own color palette that I didn't necessarily plan for. It just kind of happened. We're going to put out, now that we have Silk Touch, a little bit more grass and see if we get any sheep or anything like that spawning. Because I really, really need a sheep. I haven't even gotten a trader with a sheep egg. All right, let's think about what these guys might want. What a cleric might need in their house. So obviously more lighting, but also a workstation, right? Um, and if we put a brewing stand there and a bit of that there, oh yes. All right, we'll do a little cauldron with some water and we can even add an extra little shelf somewhere. Maybe there, we put a pot up there, and that's where we'll put our cherry blossom. All right, this is cozy. I like it. If we had wool, I would put a painting on the wall somewhere, but we don't have wool, so. Huh. And I guess we will twiddle our thumbs while the copper ages. Hmm. Time for some wand blocking, I guess. All right. Where is our new trader? Oh my gosh. Are we doing this again for real? Oh no! Let's see if we can keep him from dying this time. Hello, sir. Oh, and you have calcite. I swear if you die. We should also grab the sand and the tad. I carry many precious goods with me. All right. However much calcite you can... Oh, 35. Not enough, but... I will take some sand, too. Thank you, sir. Well, we've certainly got a couple of... Kind of important... Animals. Or, not important, but exotic animals. To work with here. Alright. Let's finish this area up. Okay, there we go then. And if we pop it up by one more, we can also do a floor. I feel like maybe let's do the bedroom above this. Um, I'm not sure what color to make that floor. And there we go. We have our full set of walls in there. Our, we're getting close to the lightning rod again. So let's dump things back where they belong. Ah, oh, already super low on calcite. We burned right through that. Okay, what color should our next floor be? I'm kind of leaning towards a greenish, like if this is for my bedroom, I think we should do some sort of mossy cobblestone kind of situation. Mossy cobble is best, best stone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and maybe we'll put some pink petals on the on the moss too all right well since we you know since we can what if we go grab some bookshelves and finish furnishing the library okay so now like i love our shroom lights and everything now we need lanterns as not actual sources of light just cute things. Can we put these there? Oh, why not? Tragic. 
On the off chance that we get some squid ink, we'll put up a lectern in this area. And let's make the rest of it a little reading nook. All right, we need some like pillowy feeling slabs maybe. Ooh, maybe some sort of like blackstone slab. Again, if I had like, you know, uh, wool, we'd make like a banner or something like that. All right, and for our final touch, we of course, need floating candles. And there we go. It's always good to get another layer of the build uh, finished off. Let's move all of our books up there now. Unbreaking three. And then the infamous silk touch that we have so much of and will never, ever, ever need ever again. We'll put that right in here. And we'll put some extras up in this area too. And there's some mending and some protection for. This is cute, I love it. And I'm so glad to have some storage space for our books specifically. You know, I was curious about Endstone if there's a crafting recipe. Okay, okay, eyes of Ender around sandstone. Well, we're gonna need to get some ender farming and some blaze farming going on in the nether. And then maybe eventually, we'll actually make it around to fight the dragon. Oh, our copper has a long way left to age, my goodness. And no sheep yet either. Well, I suppose we'll call it there while the copper finishes aging. And hopefully that will be all set to go next episode. And look at how our house is building up. There are some good things happening here. Well, I'm gonna sit here in one block forever and ever and ever and ever until that copper is aged up. And then I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.